What's up my guys? It's time to answer the age-old question, are women gold diggers? While I probably can't be as passion-filled as I would like to be on this topic, I'm going to keep it as surface level and as social media friendly as possible. Yes, I believe most women are intrinsically gold diggers, but not in the modern day way we consider that term. I'm going to break it down into two categories, materialistic wealth and societal wealth. I want to address materialistic wealth first because it's probably the only way you're viewing it. There are women that will seek out men for items and experiences and will reduce, reuse, and recycle once they have them. That's all they want and they want nothing more. But I believe that's a very small fraction of women. Then there are the gold diggers in the traditional old school societal wealth sense. I hate that this crowd has now been coined a gold digger because I don't believe their views deserve a label with a negative connotation attached to it. And I think this label has allowed men to now dismiss these women. These traditional women seek out providers. They seek out men that they believe have the ability to provide for a family. They recognize that when they're nine months pregnant, they probably won't be providing for themselves and seek out a partner that may be a step above them so they know they have the temporary freedom to act on their biological desires. Just because women are more independent today doesn't mean that there aren't women that still value stability in the traditional sense. Do not fault women that act on their biological instincts. Women that want to solely provide for themselves and women that want them and their family to be provided for can coexist. Neither side is wrong or bad. This is another PSA for black women. And I address black women specifically because we're the only ones that have been conditioned to believe that a relationship can survive off of penis, prayer, potential, and love alone. Anytime we desire a financially and fiscally responsible and secure man, we're then villainized. We're called gold diggers. We're called prostitutes. We're literally called out of our names for wanting a man to provide for the family that he has created. Men and women will try to guilt you into accepting less. Do not allow anyone to gaslight you into lowering your standards. Women will literally say, at least he has a job, at least he has a car, just because they've accepted less. And men will project on you and say, you're going to die alone or you're going to be 45. You're going to look up and be single. So you might as well settle now anyway. We're not doing that. We're not doing struggle love. We're not doing the ride or die. We're not getting it out of the mud. It's okay to want people to come to the relationship financially intact. One thing's for sure and two things for certain. Having high standards will save you from low level experiences. And I've never seen someone who actually meets your high standards complain about them. Stop feeling guilty and stop feeling shame for wanting more. Go where you're desired. It's always this backlash that you're afraid of. Like people are going to be like, you know, oh, you know, this is like gold digging or stuff like that. But you, you should know by now that that's not what I'm about. Like I wanted a secure, happy, loving, romantic, blissed out marriage and a family and a nice cozy house. I'm not about using men for money or any of that stuff. Again, women don't need to use men for money. We have our own money. That's part of the problem is that we don't know how to act in relationships because we do have our own money and we've been in our masculine. So now I'm like, you know what? If people misinterpret it, that's their problem. What's wrong with women liking successful guys? I keep seeing these hidden camera videos where the girl like hops in the guy's Lambo and he's like, oh, you're on camera because you're a gold digger. Eh. And then all the comments are like, yeah, show that gold digger she exposed. <laughs> Personally, for the record, I like women who have nice taste. I want them to have expensive things, nice earrings, nice jewelry, whatever. Because when she's out in the world, that's a representation of me. And if she's not balling or looking well put together, then that makes me look bad as a man. And these guys are just sort of mad at women in general. But the thing is, is you don't ever have to worry about gold diggers because you don't have any gold to dig. The next time a man asks for you to split this bill, the cost of this date, or tries to make you feel bad about wanting a man that wants to pay for things or that has a provider mindset, I want you to ask him what he would do if he were you. If you woke up tomorrow as a conventionally attractive woman with men of every shape, size, and stature trying to get her attention, which one are you going to give it to? The one who stay wallet ready? The one who is, is always eager to slap that card down on the table? who finds reasons to cash at me throughout the week, or the one that just asked me to split the cost of a $60 date. Tell the truth. Tell the, tell, tell the God's honest gospel truth. We really don't even need them to tell the truth for that because we can see the answer in the way that they act with their homeboys. If you ever meet a group of male friends and one of them has significantly more money than the rest of them, they flock to that man. All in the club, taking pictures with him, 
popping bottles that he paid for, taking pictures in front of his car. They be completely fanned out for that man. But we, as, as, the, as the women, we are supposed to choose the ones that don't have it. Like, y'all don't want to be friends with the broke homeboy. You don't want to be the broke homeboy, but you want us to want that one. I, I, want, I just want to make it make sense. That's it. Don't be worried about men who will think of you, gold digger, as feminine lady. Because as feminine high value lady anyway, you don't want such men. And now I will explain you why. What do you think such man has in his head thinking of women as gold diggers? I'll tell you what, he has there a lot of issues, maybe past trauma and he needs some healing before any other relationship. He's insecure because he thinks that women like him only for his money. He's in his feminine. Most likely he even doesn't like women and he's just maybe jealous of them. What's more, such man doesn't see actual value in you because he thinks that the most valuable thing you bring to the table is paying half of his bills. And my dear lady, such man will never allow you to relax in your feminine energy. He will give you a lot of toxicity and he will be making you feel bad about yourself and about your femininity and he will activate a lot of masculine energy within you. So he will not allow you to be yourself. So as I told you, you don't want such men. Believe me. You said, what are you bringing to the table? Men are tired. I'm not bringing nothing to the table, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you want a woman to bring something to the table, go to IHOP. Go to the restaurant where you can tip her, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because if I bring something to the table, you're going to be mad because it's going to be another man who's going to not ask me to bring something to the table. He's going to take care of the bill, them kids, and everybody else. And you, if you look broke. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's high roll. All right? Tired of these broke dudes sitting at the table looking for the handouts. Um. <laughs> there is no such thing as a gold digger. This term was made up by men who lack finances. And it's done as a way to manipulate you into being in a relationship that doesn't benefit you or any potential children financially. There's no animal on the planet that would deliberately choose to mate with a partner that cannot help protect them or the young. They would all die. It would be a life or death decision. Only humans, only women do this kind of thing where they mate with someone, partner with someone, reproduce with someone who cannot help them or the children. I mean, I think this is, this is absolutely wild. I don't judge women in that situation because I understand so much of the social conditioning, especially in the black community. And especially if you were raised in the black community in a church setting, this was ingrained into us. So I don't even blame women and I don't judge women. And if you're in that situation right now and you're watching this video, trust me, I hold no judgment for you. I thank goodness that I didn't meet my husband until I was 37 because if I had met him at 27, I was still believing the lie and I would have married my husband just for the sake of like getting married, you know, because especially in the black community, we're taught to marry maybe for virtue or religious reasons or maybe even bragging rights. So you could be like, that's my husband. He claims me, whatever that dumbness is. Um, so I don't, I don't, I really don't judge women. Okay. I don't. That said, if a man, calls you a gold digger. Understand that it's two things. One, it's an admission. And two, it's an observation. They're observing that you're the kind of woman that requires finances and they're admitting that they don't have the money. See that term gold digger gets thrown around when men like a woman that's out of their price range. It's just what happens. I don't think it's wrong for you as a woman, in particular, if you are genuinely looking to partner with somebody for life in marriage, to be a wife, to be a mother, two of the highest callings, I think, in this world, and you genuinely want to give somebody a good life in return. I love my husband, and I am committed to giving that man a good life every day. Not out of fear, not just so I could keep him, not just so he doesn't cheat, not just so he doesn't leave. But this is in my nature to want to be that to him. Because I understand as a woman, there's nothing you can do to keep a man faithful. The only men that are faithful are the men who want to be. And he didn't see me as a gold digger. 
He saw me as a woman who required finances and he respected me for that. Be a woman who requires finances. No apologies necessary. If I ask for something and he rejects me, I'm going to be humiliated. No, you're not. You're just going to be, you don't get humiliated when he rejects you. That's, that's not your job. Your job is to ask for what you want. And if he doesn't get it, to get it from someone else. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You say, okay, that's okay. I'm, I don't know if you were having financial issues or not. I can get it somewhere else. Like, oh, okay, no big deal. You know, it's fine. You're having financial issues. I'll figure out how to get it. Don't worry about it. You know, you don't get embarrassed. You're the woman. You're supposed to ask for things. The worst they can say is no. And then the worst thing you can say is, oh, that's okay. If, you know, if you're not able to do it, you're not able to do it. <laughs> I just want to talk very quickly about the term gold digger. So a gold digger is a person who is looking for money and financial stability from their relationship at the exclusion of everything else. You are not a gold digger for having financial standards, as long as you care about everything else in a relationship. Calling somebody a gold digger for wanting just like a good standard of living is like calling somebody an elitist about education because they'll only date people who can read. Want what you want and go after what you want, and as long as you're a kind person who cares about the whole person that you're dating, and as long as that love's legitimate, do not let anybody call you a gold digger. That's a gross term. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. I don't know who needs to hear this but be the expensive woman and let me tell you why once you set the standard down and you tell the man like don't worry i'll pay for you or don't worry i'll go 50 50 don't worry we could just hang out in your car once you do that those men will literally never exceed those expectations because then they'll see you as a convenience instead of seeing you as a woman that asks for more from the beginning, you have to be the kind of woman that expects to her date to pay for her, that expects her doors to be open, that expects flowers, that expects all of those things. Because once you accustom a man to a certain level, he will hardly ever go above and beyond when he sees you as a convenience. You don't want to be a convenience in a man's life. You want to be the woman that he goes above and beyond for from the beginning. Be the expensive woman. Some men are saying that women are gold digger. Oga, no matter how financially okay a woman is, she still need the money of her man. Women were made to be taken care of. If you can't take care of a woman, please leave her alone. No insult. Women are hardworking because they want their dignity and security. They are avoiding insult. They work to support and reduce some pressure on their men. If not, no woman will want to work. Women were made to be treated as queen. But it's quite unfortunate that now our day some men are looking bad for women that will take care of them. A real man won't say a woman is a gold digger. Hmm, funny. Yes, but not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, weird. I swear, females these days are just gold diggers, like for real. Now that I got your attention, can we please discuss how y'all try to shame women for having high standards? Ever so often, a meme like this will go viral, and any woman who says no that they will not accept that as a date is bashed for being a gold digger. It's one thing if a woman meets somebody and makes them think that she's in it for love when she's really in it for money, but why are y'all mad at women who are open and honest about their standards, especially when there are people out there who are willing to meet them? Crazy thing is, is it don't even be the rich men who sit around and complain about gold diggers. It be the men who ain't got nothing but $40 in a SoundCloud link who are so worried about women chasing them for imaginary gold. Be calling women money hungry when you ain't got no money. Now, there are plenty of women who are low maintenance, but y'all pay them dust. What y'all want to do is get a bougie bad bitch and knock her down a few pegs. That shit is problematic. And you know who usually calls them gold diggers? Who's that? The ones without the gold. <laughs> I told y'all this several times already. I don't think I need to repeat myself. Stop getting manipulated by these broke men telling you that you're a gold digger because you want them to be financially stable. Get you somebody with some fucking money. Simple as that. I hate when men say if the right man with the right amount of money come along that every woman is gone. That's only for hoes or a woman who really don't love you for real. Y'all men really think that when women be in these relationships that it's not men shooting they shot at her they got more than a man that she dating. We turn them down and continue the relationship with y'all and don't even tell y'all nothing. When a woman genuinely loves you, not even a billion that can take her from you. The only thing that can stop her from fucking with you is you. And I ain't never seen no woman come up off of no good man, especially knowing that it's a shortage of them out here. 
And a lot of women do not be gold diggers for real. That's why we be so mad when we got to leave y'all alone because we done passed up so many opportunities with men who had more and could have possibly did us right just for y'all to take us through all these wrong and we still got to end up cutting y'all ass off. I need you to raise your standards immediately. Not when you get prettier, not when you get skinnier, right fucking now. Because in this society as a woman, we get blamed for literally everything. You can be in a relationship with someone and if he leaves you or if you have a baby and he leaves you, you know what they'll tell you? Pick better men. Choose better men. But if your standards are too high, you know what they'll tell you? Ew.